everybody. Welcome to 10 Minutes with Martha Wash. I'm glad you're here. And I want to introduce you to a phenomenal, let's see, singer, songwriter, musical director, author, philanthropist. You flatter me, my dear. You flatter me. <laughs> Mr. Paul Schaefer, Thank everybody. Thank you, Martha. It's great to be here How with you. How are you, darling? Well, I've never been better. I'm really glad to see you. <laughs> you keep plugging away. You, you have to, don't you? Otherwise, you get bored and sad and depressed. And, you know, we musicians, I bet you're the same. Yeah. we got to make yeah. music. That's what, that's what keeps me happy. Isn't it the same with you? Yeah, after a while, it's like, okay, uh, who's calling? Exactly. You know, yeah. let's, let's do something. And what am I on? Yeah, what time am I on? And what do we wear? That's all I want to know. So I'm doing it in Las Vegas now. Okay, cool. Uh, I have returned to the lounges. That's where I started in Canada, you know, when I was a kid. Why, okay, why Vegas and why now? I, I had a hole in my schedule and th this came up. The people from Caesars okay. Palace came to me and said, okay. there are no lounges anymore with live yeah. acts. Back yeah. in the yeah. day, you know, the 60s when the Rat Pack were swinging in Vegas, the lounges yeah. were so happening. Louis Prima and yeah. Keeley Smith, you yeah. know, so famous. The Checkmates. You uh, know, it's... It's almost sad to say that I remember all of those girls. Yes, well, I do, too. I, I was watching them on TV primarily, but yeah. certainly paying yeah. attention. Yeah. Oh, and I remember when they started using the Hammond B3 in the lounge. Yeah. Oh, that made me so happy, you know. I said that. But, I, but I've kidded the lounge entertainers all my life. Right. How old-fashioned right. they used yeah. to seem to us, working in their tuxes, you know, and we yeah. were wearing our blue jeans. and. We made a joke uh, out know. of them, and I, I, yeah. jo I was guilty as well, yeah. joking about them, but also with, with the utmost respect for, yeah. for Louis and Keeley, you know, right, and, right. and they're, they're kind of show they did. Right. And of course, Sammy Davis, you can't argue with his talent. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you absolutely. can, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. You, we used to chuckle when, we, when he would say, now, ladies and gentlemen, for your kind identification, if yes, I may, yes, if yes. I may, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here I am, I've become. What I mocked all those years. I am now a lounge performer myself. And so I find myself careful, saying right? it. It comes out of my mouth. Ladies, yeah. with your kind permission, ladies and gentlemen. I say, am right, I kidding right. Sammy or have I become Sammy? Right. I don't know. It doesn't matter anymore. Uh, I seem to be destined to be here. And thanks well, to and, and you coming down as you are tonight to sing It's Raining Man, which, which the late Paul Jabbar and yeah, I wrote yeah. for you. Uh, what can I say? It's the funniest thing. Speaking of that, I didn't know you before. That's right. Rainy but, Men came out. That's right. I had only dealt with Paul Jabara. We we met first when you came on Letterman in the '80s to sing it. Yeah. And it yeah. was already becoming a hit. It may have been. Yes. I think it was a number one dance record at that time. Uh -huh. But yes, yeah. I mean, what, what before you we even came into the picture, he had called me and said, "Let's write a song together." It's raining men. And uh, what did you think when he uh, of the title when he told you that it's raining men? I think? just thought it was great. I mean, he he you know he was uh, a gay genius. Yeah. A yeah. flamboyant uh, <laughs> genius. Uh, yes. who knew exactly who he was playing to. Right. And, you know, we've talked about it before. He was best friends with Donna Summer right, at the right, time. Right, and you right. remember that uh, her career uh, had cooled off a little bit. She had hit after hit after hit. Yeah. And then yeah. for whatever reason, she wasn't getting the hits anymore. And when he called, he said, I got a title that's going to bring her back. Because her core audience was the club audience. Right. And yes, yeah. yes, the gay club audience. True. And he True. says, if she hits with a song called It's Raining Man, they're going to go nuts. And I said, I'll be right over, you know. I got it. it you know, I got the humor in it. And she turned it down? She turned it down. She wasn't in the right mood. Okay. Um, for it. Well, he, uh, told, he told me, he said, Bar uh, 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 Donna Summer turned it down. Barbara Streisand turned it down. Diana Ross turned it down. I think it's some, Cher turned it down. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to myself, okay. Because he, he literally begged us to record the song, and we kept saying, no, Paul, nobody's going to buy it. Well, you know. He had, well, so, it. well, all of us can be wrong once in a while. You know, um, and he, but he said, no, I really need you to record well, you this see, song. see, after Donna passed on it and all those other great uh, divas, one-name divas, 
passed on it. Now, really, can he you, made he, the track anyway. He was so so confident in the song that he made the music track. Well, the thing is, by the time we came on board, everything was really finished yeah. except our vocals. Yeah. And that's why it only took us like 90, Even the 90 minutes. Even yeah, the, all the background So that's was how, how much he believed in the song. I don't know who's yeah, going to sing did. it, but he thought of you guys, of course, because he knew Sylvester, and right. you, you had worked with Sylvester, and what a great idea, because you guys just murdered the song. I mean, you killed it. It was just like, okay, Paul, we recorded it. See you later. Yes, Bye. of course. You, you never know? thought you'd hear from no. him again. Yeah. No, no, no. But, but it but just, it took I, off. I remember him shopping the song uh, 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 in the clubs. Please play this song. And he, that's how yeah. it exploded He was incorrigible. Yeah. He had so much energy. Yeah, that's true. And he knew what he was doing. And when he got you, what a stroke of genius. Because it was fun. You know, we were doing it for fun. But yeah. you did it straight. <laughs> it's totally straight. With that, yeah. those great gospel yeah. voices that you and I saw have. Yeah, and the rest is history. And it played against the yeah. humor of yeah. the thing, and it just made magic. It, and the rest is history. And here we are. And we became friends after that. Exactly. Which is exactly. so great. Th that's so funny because, like, all the, you know, the grandparents dance to it, the parents dance to it, the grandkids dance to it, everybody dances to it now. It's become a cult classic that once you hear it, you know you got to get on the dance floor and dance. Well, it and wouldn't dance. have been nothing if you hadn't have sung it. Believe me, you your well, delivery is what made the whole difference and made it a hit. So I, you know, every time I see you, I, <laughs> I thank you, and my accountant <laughs> also thanks you. <laughs> you rocked it, and now. I'm sure. But you I'm never sure knew that you were going to have to sing it all these years later. No. Over and over and no, over again. No, not not a clue. Not a clue. But you know what? It's fine because everybody likes hearing the song, so I'm good with that. Yeah, and that's, when you when they hear those opening the notes, thing. they rush. Whether it's a bar mitzvah or a funeral, <laughs> exactly. They, they rush to the exactly. dance floor. The queen is here. Martha Wash is here. Exactly. So what a what a great uh, accomplishment, and uh, you know m many people don't have a, a even one song like that. True, you got it, That's and true. Uh, you know I'm I'm so happy to have been a little small part. So of it. it was it was meant to be. I think it was. Yeah, no it question was meant about to it. Be. No question about it. I got a question. Yes, Ma Mademoiselle. But a, but a, a, a statement. Did you know when you started with David Letterman that you would be the longest running band leader in television history? Of course I didn't. Although I was used to long runs, at least what I thought was long at the time. I did five years on Saturday Night Live, the right. original. Right. And that was a long time, five years. And, and I, you know, I was, when it ended, I was about 30. And I said, well, you yeah. know, next, yeah. you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to stay any more than five. That's what the whole original cast left after five. And yeah. then Dave came along. And I, yeah, I was expecting a long run, maybe another five years, you know. That's what I was expecting. No, but I never thought and that that's it was just be, between two shows yeah that be, doesn't between, count snl and the other stuff that you've done with that's like, right with just the letterman yeah. show on nbc when it was late night and right. then it was late show on cbs like, 33, 33 years, until, years right i know I, it, it was a great blessing and, i know you um, couldn't have imagined that and you did it's raining men twice yeah you and azora yeah. first yeah. back when it came out in about 82 right you did it, and then you did it again Towards for the, the 30th yes. anniversary. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so that that's 30 years in between those two. You and know? we're still here. And we're still here, and, and we're still, still doing, doing it, it, and we're still laughing and enjoying it when we do it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But Paul, thank you so much. Can't I really thank you, you enough, here. Martha, for coming to Las yeah. Vegas, being a part of the show, and it's be and, fun. and talking to me. And this has been fun. This interview. I hope you I do it again. It. Good luck with this yeah. this 10 minutes. Yes, Ten minutes with so Martha. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. All I'm right. going to be looking for it, and thanks for having me. Thank you so much, Paul oh, Schaefer. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. See you next time, all right, with Ten Minutes with Martha Wash. Bye. For more information on Paul Schaefer, check out the spring issue of FLOD Magazine at www.firstladiesofdiscoshow.com.